Hello, this is Katrina with Circle T Sod Farms. Today we're going to be talking about some common lawn problems that you may experience in your new lawn. First of all, we're going to start with diseases. This here is a fungus. This is what it looks like if it is going to be on your blades. You're going to notice that the blades are splotchy. This is an example of a blade of grass that has fungus on it right now. Now, one thing about fungus is it does not leave the blade. Once you have treated your lawn with a fungicide, which you should put down immediately after your new lawn gets installed within 24 hours is what we prefer. A fungicide and an insecticide should be applied. If you do have an active fungus in your yard, this fungus will never leave the plant. It will simply grow out. If you can see the bottom of this blade of grass is healthy because it has been treated with a fungicide and is actually growing out. Here is another example of fungus spots on a blade of grass. You're gonna be looking for those little brown circles that appear to be a little more yellow in the middle with brown around the outside. There are several different kinds of fungus that your yard can contract. This is one of the more common funguses and uh, one of the easier funguses to rectify. You can also get uh, root rot, which is not common, um, but if you do get that, it is oftentimes very detrimental to your yard and you may lose the whole new sod plot that you just had installed. So moving along, we are going to talk about insects. This is a chinch bug. The adults are only about one fifth of an inch long and uh, the young ones are only about one twentieth of an inch long. Very small. These little bugs attack the roots of your grass and it is very important to be proactive in preventing these little bugs from entering your yard. Being reactive, unfortunately, many times means that you lose the lawn because you don't find out that you have them until it's too late. Your best option for treating these bugs is putting down a preventative application uh, once a year. There are many pest control companies that will give you a one-year warranty once you have applied their insecticide to your yard that uh, you will not get these bugs for at least one year. Um, like I said, it is very important, much better to be proactive rather than reactive because once you find these little guys in your yard, many times it is too late. I have here an example of a couple of yards that have chinch bug damage. What you're going to notice in your yard if you do have chinch bugs is inorganic shapes in your yard of yellowing. Browning will start in the middle where they have started with yellowing around the outside and you'll notice that those areas will gradually increase. Not treating these little buggers can be extremely devastational to your lawn. So now we're going to move on to webworms. The first thing you're gonna notice with webworms is the damage that they cause. When you are walking through your lawn, you're going to notice that your blades appear as though they've been chewed by a little hungry caterpillar. That's exactly what is happening. These little webworms look like little green inchworms. We'll take a look at them in a moment. But this is what you're going to notice. The bad thing about these little guys is that they cause damage very quickly. They're easy to control, but they're very quick to damage. So in just a couple of weeks, these little guys can completely destroy your new lawn. So if you're noticing this in your new lawn, you must contact your pest control company immediately so they can come out and put an insecticide down. This is what these little guys look like. The picture on the top is extremely zoomed in. Most of the time when they're feeding on your lawn, they're going to be this transparent, light green color. The picture on the bottom is a lineup of their life cycle. The moths 
are what lay the larva. And you have these little larva hatch. They will eat and eat and eat and they create these little brown, little green droppings that you see up here on the blade of grass. Once they have eaten and they are ready, they will form a cocoon and then they will turn into these moths. Uh, preventative measures that you can take are appropriate watering. Remember, these insects are drawn to your new lawn. They prefer the new grass rather than the old grass. This grass, even though it is healthy, this grass is in survival mode. It's being transplanted from one field, transferred to your yard, laid in your yard, and is trying to establish itself. These insects know that. They know that it is weaker than the normal grass and they will target the new grass. Proper mowing also is a good preventative measure for these guys. You want to make sure that your management practices on your lawn are good. Always keeping a healthy lawn will deter insects and disease from your yard. Lastly, we are going to talk about the army worm. Now this little guy looks like a caterpillar. He's light brown and he has black stripes down his body. A sure sign identification for this guy is an inverted Y on the top of his head. That Y is gonna be a really dark brown, almost black color. These guys are about an inch and a half in length. And um, while they prefer Bahia, you can get them in St. Augustine. Um, most of the time though, you're going to be seeing this in Bahia grass. Treating these guys um, is easy. You can get uh, bifenthrin or um, acephate to treat these guys. If you have a lawn maintenance company and you notice that you have these bugs in your yard, uh, they'll be able to apply a, an insecticide to rectify this situation very quickly. These caterpillars also develop into a moth. The moths are about an inch and a half. These guys feed during the day, whereas your webworms are going to feed at night. How you see them in the picture is generally how you will see them in your yard. They don't curl up in the dirt. They don't hide from you. They're generally actively feeding during the day. So they're much easier to find than the chinch bug or webworm who hides down in the ground during the day. There are other insects that can affect your lawn, but these are the most common insects. These are the insects that can do the most damage in your new lawn, and these are the insects that you should be looking out for.